broadcasting from various countries around the world using wireless technology. This is 4G Uncovered, a 4G On Solutions UK podcast. I'm Kathleen Reed. We're so happy today to have Ben Moore, Vice President of Business Development from Ubiquity Networks, join us. Ubiquity designs, manufactures, and sells innovative broadband wireless networking solutions worldwide. The technology has been so disruptive to the market, and we're so excited to have Ben join us to learn more about it. Part of this inaugural 4G Uncovered podcast is even being recorded over a wireless link, which makes it extra cool. Thanks so very much for joining us today, Ben. The response to the Ubiquiti Air Fiber and the Ubiquiti Unify Pro has been fantastic with 4G On's customer base so far. What has the response been to this technology in general, and are there any further advancements you'll be making to these products? Yes. Uh, so the, f- the first one I'll start with is the Ubiquity Air Fiber. Um, we haven't, uh, I-, I guess we've done a controlled release so far as far as shipments go. Our response, pre-orders, all of those kind of things have been, uh, as you mentioned, very positive. Uh, I think uh, the best thing about this, and I'll, I'll uh, discuss a little bit later on as well, but uh, the best thing about it, about it is I think we're actually creating uh, creating a market with uh, with this product uh, that, that maybe didn't exist prior to, just because of the cost points and, and the performance of the product. Um, so they'll they'll it's it basically priced at a, at a point where it, it it doesn't make sense not to do it, whether you're doing a backup link or whether whether you're doing uh, multiple links. Uh, you know, you've got fiber under a building and you're and you want to have a backup or you're you're using that as your primary. It's it's really created uh, you know what we feel is will will create a, a significant market uh, where uh, these products will tie into fiber rings of around the world and provide last mile uh, backhaul coverage. Uh, so uh, yes, there will be additional advancements to that uh, that product line. If you've seen our video, uh, we mentioned in there that it uh, will most likely be the first of many products in this uh, in this you know kind of platform as we call it within Ubiquity. Uh, so there will be additional advancements with with air fiber. I can't disclose what those are at this point, but uh, there are definitely more efforts in, in developing this platform um, as as we launch and 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 get the product out there. And and we're ex- you know excited to see the the response from this product uh, you know in the marketplace uh, from a from a product uh, performance standpoint. And as far as uh, Unify uh, Ubiquity uh, Unify Pro, uh, we we have had our other Ubiquity Unify devices out on the market for uh, some time. It's probably been about a year and a half, uh, maybe a little bit over a year and a half now at this point. And uh, the Pro series is our first uh, dual dual band radio, uh, 802.3f. Uh, so kind of uh, you know higher higher end solution. Uh, response has also been very positive. We've been shipping that product now for about a month, month and a half, and and uh, response has been very good. Performance has been good. Uh, you know, so basically at this point, the the demand is is uh, is very strong. And and as far as developments go for the the, the UAP Pro, uh, we we yes, there there will be more uh, just features added to the product to all the Unify products. I mean, it's. Uh, there's a lot of software development being done uh, to continue to add features and and performance. And all, obviously, with with all of the Ubiquity uh, products, we we don't ever charge for any of those upgrades or anything like that. Any any software uh, enhancements that are made are included uh, free of charge. So there's no you know upgrades or service contracts or anything like that that that, that are required to be able to get those uh, those enhancements. And then from a uh, you know, just Unify product hardware uh, in general. Yes, uh, there are definitely uh, additional products that we're working on. Again, nothing that can be disclosed at this point. But uh, you know, the Unify product line is is is, is continuing to be added to, and and uh, you know, it's, it's it's been very positive within the company, and we expect that to continue. Can you tell 4G On's listeners, in your own words, just why choose the Ubiquity Unify Pro, and what separates it from other products in the market? Such as Ruckus Wireless, Aerohive, Xeris, and others. So yeah, what, you know, I think what sets separates the part. First of all, there are, I mean, there are a number of companies out there that uh, are providing enterprise type solutions, and you know, there's some some very good products out there. Um, I would say what sets us apart is is some of those things that I that I mentioned in that, you know, there's there's uh, first of all um, from a, from a performance standpoint, I mean, the product is is uh, very solid. Uh, it's very easy to use, uh, very nice uh, user experience for for customers. 
you know, the UI is very clean, the user interface is very clean, and, and uh, you know, like I said, it's it's something that, that many people can go out and do. Uh, so it, it, it really puts uh, a lot of tools at, at many, many people's fingertips uh, without having to have, uh, you know, serious, you know, serious time and investment involved from a training standpoint uh, to get the product up and running. Uh, other things, obviously, from a cost standpoint, uh, were fractions of the cost of some of these other um, uh, vendors out there uh, that have similar similar performance, similar characteristics. Um, no controller required, so you can load it on uh, you know PC or some of the other things. Again, that's something that the other um, providers kind of you know make you purchase, uh, and those controllers can be very expensive. Um, as well, uh, like I mentioned, uh, from a software upgrade and upgrade perspective, uh, those are all included with the product. When you when you purchase that hardware, Ubiquity uh, enhancements are, are rolled out, and and those uh, you know those those changes, those enhancements are are included uh, at, at no cost. Um, so your your you, your fractions to operate again service contracts. There are none with with within Ubiquity. You don't have to purchase something every year. There, in fact, there is none uh, available. So the cost of ownership and 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 performance and all of those things uh, kind of come together, and and we think you know provides customers with with the ultimate uh, enterprise solution. Okay, great. I think uh, AirFiber will stand up against SAF Technica Freemile in the marketplace. Well, I think I think again with the AirFiber product, um, I think it'll compete with any um, backhaul provider out there. Um, I mean, I, I think this product puts it in kind of in a class of its own, uh, just from a from a throughput perspective, from a range perspective. Um, but then on top of that, you know, price point. So I think um, just based off of pre-orders and and. Uh, and feedback that we're hearing from the field, um, I think it, I think it uh, will do very, very well. And, and then on top of that, we'll create those markets that I that I talked about earlier. It'll, it'll uh, again make it feasible where it wasn't feasible before. You know, where where a, a provider, say in a third world country or in a an emerging market, um, you know, putting in fifteen thousand or ten thousand uh, dollar backhauls you know, multiple backhauls, you know, in, in many locations is can, can get very expensive. Um, and then not get the same throughput that we're, we're able to deliver with, with our, our, uh, our air fiber product. So we're, we're again, enabling these emerging markets and really allowing them to, to provide a service and a, and a product that they couldn't before. Does the ubiquity air fiber really give 1.4 gig of throughput at maximum range when used by the customer in the field? So the, it does not give 1.4 gig uh, of throughput at, at maximum range, no. Um, but that that range is is again far and above uh, what what others are able to do. So that that maximum range is is basically your your max range that you're going to get out of the product. It obviously um, the, the throughput goes down when you're at that that max range. Um, so. You know that'll that'll depend. You know if, if customers have questions as far as what kind of throughput they're going to get at a specific range, it's going to vary by region. And you know we're working on some calculators that allow them to to do that. It'll take into account rain fade and all of those kind of things. Um, but as as the product stands currently, um, you know from at, at 24 gigahertz, I think you're going to be uh, you know it's going to stack up well against any any competitors' products in the field for for range and and throughput. Excellent. So, how do you see this transforming internet access globally? Um, I, I, I mean, I, I think again, it, it goes into those emerging markets, uh, those uh, areas where it wasn't feasible before. Uh, the nice thing with our entire product line or our, our you know, different platforms is that you know customers can now go in and tie into a fiber ring or wherever you know wherever that 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 throughput's coming, whatever, wherever that. Uh, you know that main main links coming from whether fiber or something else. They can tie in uh, with Air Fiber, uh, and then you know go to an Air Max solution, one of our other products, or uh, to Unify if they're going to say, for example, uh, from a you know a backhaul from from that fiber point to uh, to a school or to a university, to a hospital, to a, uh, an office building, uh, and tie in and, and use again Unify Unify Pro. To uh, deliver that that enterprise solution, 
So we kind of feel like we have uh, between the different platforms, between you know Air Max, Air Fiber, Unify, uh, we have our, our bases covering the customers. Uh, you know are, are, are being provided with all the tools necessary to to, to enable enable these markets. Uh, we're we're seeing you know getting reports of of customers getting access in in Mozambique where they're where they're running fully off of uh, you know solar or uh, you know, have no electricity, but yet they are able to have internet access due to, you know, these Unify or Air Max products, and then again, Air, Air Fiber uh, kicks it up a notch. Uh, so it really, we, we feel like we're not only enabling customers and, and to be able to have access, but we're also creating, you know, businesses, right? These wireless internet service providers and and, and other carriers and things like that, that that, you know, again, it wasn't feasible before. They're now enabled with with our with our different platforms. Thank you once again for your time today, Ben. Ben Moore is the Vice President of Business Development from Ubiquity Networks. This has been a 4G Uncovered podcast brought to you by 4G On Solutions. For more information, please visit 4 gonco